They're coming back. Come on now! Hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on! I didn't cut any exposition out whatsoever. All I cut out were just belabored helicopter scenes. This movie, when we were watching it, you could already tell that the director had a hard on for the fact that they got the use of a helicopter. There were still way too many shots of and from this helicopter. But I cut out six additional minutes just of video footage from the helicopter, just taking in the scenery, and of the helicopter just flying around. Most of it at the beginning. In fact, <laughs> I hadn't played this movie before, despite its qualities, and I think it has many, because I couldn't imagine playing a movie that starts out with like a full two minutes of just shots from a helicopter and shots from the ground looking at a helicopter just in these sweeping scenes while they uh, show you know, play lousy music and show names from the credits. So after that time, you finally get to like the opening action scene. And I feel like if you've watched all that bullshit, you're already asleep by then and you might not realize that the action scene is happening at all. And then you <laughs> might attribute the fact that you're not following the story at all to the fact that you had to watch that helicopter scene that just bludgeoned you into submission to the point where you couldn't even pay attention anymore. And you might not really realize the glorious non sequitur nature of the non-existent plot that's unfolding before you. Because when you see it just happening and I cut out all that bullshit, you realize that the story just doesn't make sense, regardless of how much you're paying attention. And I got to say, I was trying to follow. And right from the get-go, you can't follow. Like, <laughs> they introduce the helicopter right away. These guys are on a boat, our protagonists. And for some reason, the protagonists seem to have known each other for a long time. Yet the one guy is getting the other guy's name wrong all the time. And I couldn't understand that. He was calling this guy Washington. And the guy would say, my name's not Washington, it's Muhammad. Hey. How's it going, Washington? I don't know. My name's Mohammed. And I was thinking, <laughs> where does this error come from? The fuck is the story behind this? Never tell us. But in any case, they're out on a boat and a helicopter's flying overhead and they get really pissed about it. And they say that this one guy would be the only one who would do such a thing. I don't think I ever figured out what he was doing that was wrong. The helicopter wasn't dropping anything on them or whatever. They end up going back to some kind of base and they're resurrecting a sunken Russian submarine or something like that. And all of this leads to some research that shows them that Atlantis exists. And if I understand correctly, they go to what looks like a frontier village and, uh, out in the middle of, of somewhere but not underwater. I don't think it was supposed to be an island. I think they went to Atlantis later. But when they're in this frontier town, it's Mad Max. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. 